After traveling south for two weeks, we now point east to leave the U.S. on a 75 nautical mile trip across the Gulf Stream to the Bahamas. We bring you along for the immigration check-in, the damage report, and our plans on where we go next. We are Paige and Daniel sailing our 38-foot catamaran with our Great Dane, Winston. Nine months ago, we abandoned our careers for full-time travel, and we are now living our dream of sailing the world. We are going to the Bahamas. <laughs> it honestly, it doesn't even feel real. Forecast says it is the, what was it? The less bad day. So it's not, it's not the perfect passage, but um, it is going to be our only weather window for like two weeks. <sighs> all the butterflies, all the excitement. Day is the day we are going to be anchoring in the Bahamas this evening. Just even to say that is wild. Alright, we are leaving Fort Lauderdale for the Bahamas, which is awesome, but the downside is that we're only going like four knots. It's a little sluggish today. So right now, with our current speed, we are getting to the Bahamas at 6 a.m. <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. The debate right now is, do you turn on the engines? But I don't want to motor all day, like. Yeah, I don't want to motor sail all day. Or do you just grin and bear it and do an overnight? All right, so we decided to turn on the engines because the way the course was looking, looked like we'd probably get to New England before we got to the Bahamas. Uh, because we're drifting with the current. As we've gotten kind of further offshore, the, the, the swell seems to have made itself a little bit more consistent uh, in its pattern, and it seems to have died down a little bit. So it's a little bit more of a comfortable ride. I am kind of fighting some seasickness, and I'm just gonna take it easy, taking a, I'm gonna try to nap. There's all this hobby horsing and banging occasional hull slap. has improved. It was still a little rocky and rolly, but yep. it's not nearly as bad as it was early this morning. Now we're getting more of the influence from the Gulf Stream and it's knocking down all the, the chop from the wind. And there's not a ton of wind, so it's not a lot to knock down. Yeah, there's only like 10 knots of wind. Maybe. Maybe. And it's right, we're pretty much in the zone of embarrassment. <laughs> we're doing the best we can, but we're on a, we're on a good course uh, for West End now. I was hoping to get there before dark so that we can see where we are and what we're doing. Um, but you know, it'll just be a surprise in the morning. All right guys, it is official. This is the first time we have sailed out of sight of land. We are about 28 miles out from our destination. Sea stakes picked up just a little bit more, but man, is it pretty. Land ho! Oh. <laughs> Looks like we almost made it. Almost made it. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's uh, the sun is setting, uh, so we will be arriving at dark, yep. but that's okay. We'll just take it slow and Anchor safely. Yeah, this is a pretty well charted area, so I think we'll be all right. Uh, we have about nine and a half more miles to go. So another hour and a half ish. Yeah. At least tomorrow we'll wake up to clear water, sandy beaches. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see where we end up. We'll but... see what it looks like in the morning. <laughs>
welcome to the Bahamas. Happy Bahamian morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I um, it's it, it's the sun hasn't even really come up yet. Yep. I'm just so excited. As soon as there was a light out, I was like, it was like Christmas. Look at it. We guys go look at it. <laughs> of course, the water is. It's exactly as beautiful as as all the YouTubes and you would imagine. This is a little rolly acreage. The yeah, it, it took us five times to set last night just because very it's, rocky bottom. Yeah. Oh, goodness, look at me. I was so excited to come tell the two guys. I didn't even look at the mirror. Now that we're oh, here, we have to raise our cue flag. We have a cue flag. Yep. We kind of should have raised it yesterday or yeah. last night when we got here, but no one was looking anyways. Now that it's daylight, I think we should have one up. We probably should. Let's do it. Now we got our cue flag up. Yay! <laughs> Damage report from last night. Uh, somehow, our uh, main halyard block, the shackle came off of that. We have, so we have to replace that. Um, there's some strange rubbing coming from underneath the porthole. Not sure what that's all about, so we'll get that figured out. And then there's a strange squeaking sound coming from the starboard engine. Just Catamaran just replaced our, or serviced our engines. Very loud and, and getting a, a louder, like, like it started a little squeak and then there's a louder squeak and it sounds like it's like a, like a tick, 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 so I'm just, I don't, gotta figure out what's going on with that. Not to mention the joker valve that mm -hmm. just Catamarans installed is leaking waste all down the bilge. So we gotta figure that one out too. Yep, so boat work in exotic places. What do you do? Aha. Uh -huh. What is it? Um, well, it's this piece right here. And I don't know, I think this is a belt tensioner? Cause it was just laying just like that. So they left their tool on our engine? The end, I need to go look at the other one and see. Yeah, not even, not even seeing that piece on here. So yeah, it might've been a tool left behind. Uh, I don't know if crisis averted or anything like that, but uh, we found what I think is probably the culprit. Uh, it looks like it's a belt tensioner that someone left. Uh, someone left on the alternator. We have a handy dandy belt tensioner now. Hooray! We have been so focused on getting to the Bahamas that we really haven't thought about where or what we're gonna do once we get here. Yeah, we have no plan. We have absolutely <laughs> no idea. So one of the things we're doing while we're enjoying our coffee this morning is uh, looking at the chart of the Little Bahama Bank and uh, the Abacos, and we are trying to determine what we're gonna do next. Uh, one of the restrictions is insurance. Our insurance only covers up to the 27th degree north. So that's as far north as we can go with our insurance. Um, I told Daniel, we could still go. It just won't be covered under insurance if something happens. So, um, you know, I'm kind of like, let's live on the wild side. And Daniel's like, well, I mean, within reason. I was uh, tossing around the idea of talking to our insurance company about possibly getting an extension mm -hmm. uh, up to maybe even 27 degrees, 20 minutes north. I think that that would cover the whole Little Bank and Abacos Island area. Okay. And we've also decided that anything more than 25, 30 miles is right out. We are we are done with 10 plus hour passages. Yeah, we <laughs> want we want short passages. Once we get to that short passage, we want to just hang out for a few days. Yeah, we're we are now uh, on we, island time. Yes, we are on island time and we have worked very hard to get here and now it's time to enjoy those fruits. Yes, yes. Looking at the weather charts because now our entire life is dictated by weather. We have some very strong easterly winds coming uh, in the next couple of days. So where we're at right now isn't the best place for it. We gotta pick up anchor uh, first thing in the morning, hit Indian Rock Passage at high tide, go for about five hours to Mangrove Key, drop anchor, chill out there overnight, pick up early in the morning, get over to Great Sail Key by Monday. And that's assuming that we get checked into customs today. Daniel's on his way, he's gonna go get checked in. 
at uh, the customs office. Frost. What? Are you, what? I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, and one short dinghy ride later, we're here. So this is uh, West End, Grand Bahama. Now we're gonna go find the uh, find the customs office, get ourselves checked in. Hopefully, I don't have to go back and get Paige and Winston and do this all over again. But we'll we'll find out. Find out shortly. 10, 15 minutes later, a couple pieces of paperwork. We're in, we're checked in, we're here. Surprisingly, they didn't ask much about Winston, even though I did offer information about Winston, but nope, they were they were good. Put up our flags and let's go. <laughs> we are in, all three of us. Fabulous. <laughs> Winston. Winston, come on, come on back. How was the process? Pretty easy, I gave him our um, cruising permit they did some stuff with it, told them, went through click to clear with it. Had to fill out a couple of forms, just basic, you know, cruising forms. Uh, the standard entry documentation, basically all the stuff that I gave them on the click to clear. But they did the immigration bit, went over to customs, I showed her the cruising permit. She's like, oh no, you're already cleared through customs, you're good. I was like, well, I have my pet with me. She's like, no, you're clear, you're good. I was like, I have his, I have his pet permit and all that. They're like, no, you're good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you said I'm good three times. I'm out. Well, so, yeah. great. Didn't you have to show anything for Winston? Wow. Didn't show anything. Well, because it was all on the click to clear, so. Uh, no. No, there's nothing. Uh, there was the pet permit that's on file for Winston, but I didn't have to show his health certificate. Okay. So I assume that his pet permit is tied to us somehow, but I don't know exactly how. So. Win Winston and us are now. In the Bahamas. We are all now safely in the Bahamas and we have to change our flag. <gasps> we get to change our flag! Let's go do it. Down. Like, oh, what do you want to do the first thing in the Bahamas? First thing I want to do is I want to jump off the boat into the water. And I'm so looking forward to doing that kind of like every morning. So, you know, no time like the present. And what do you think? Mm. This is my first time in the water. It was so amazing. It clear. I could see both holes. I could see the anchor chain, and it goes all the way down. And it was it was so cool. I I could see fish, and there's not even really a lot here. I mean, I'm, but I'm so excited to actually get somewhere that we, there's some, like real, like more wildlife and things for us to look at. Cause that is amazing, super cool. 